how one seed can truly make a difference. What if I told you I needed your help? What would your reaction be? Your problem, not mine. Well, if it don't cost me anything. I don't have the time. What if I told you I was small? Smaller than an underdeveloped green bean. You're tall next to me, but not in the context of what I've seen. I felt the boreal forest in Canada, a sight you wouldn't believe. Where I fled from the freezing cold. Flew over the Rocky Mountains for guarantees down in Mexico. I might be world known, but you don't see the struggles I undergo. When I show up to your crib and pollinate the flowers that you've grown, I want you to know I thank you for most don't even sow. Without you, what's hope? People are worried, I'm broke. There's this man who planted one seed and put it on a show. Where everybody saw that seed grow. People should know, they sow. I'll pollinate the flowers and more will grow. That man made a couple of dollars off the video. Then he took the seeds and put them on eBay and they sold. One seed made a difference to help support my family. In turn, we supported his. My host plant, the milkweed, the man's yard became established with my seed. He's also the host of the great outdoors, the man talking, giving me a voice. And you still have a choice. Do nothing and watch my chances get destroyed. Help my host plant, that helps me and we will rejoice. I wasn't given a voice, but I've been saying it in other ways. I've been putting on displays. I had to watch my range set ablaze. I've seen whole cities raised. Rainforest cleared for cattle to graze. I've seen so many people just gaze. While so many species get wiped away. I'm a butterfly. I'm not pushing blame. That's not in my DNA. But if you watch this and do nothing, you should be ashamed. Your light could spark a change. You could save the king. Monarch. That's, That's what, what the name, name means. If you like this style of wildlife poetry, be sure to go down into the description and find the playlist featuring all my wildlife poetry songs. Also, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And be sure to select all notifications. Otherwise, YouTube just don't give a shit and they don't show my videos to anyone. Thank you so much for your support. We'll see you next time, right here in the great outdoors. Pot but the original ones that I transplanted are over here. What if one thriving species could increase the numbers of 10 other species? What if that is an understatement and by the end of it, touch every other creature in the same ecosystem? And this is how they did. They grew so fast and the miracle happened. Monarch butterflies found them and laid their eggs on them. And you can see, we'll take a pot. I mean, look at them, they're gorgeous, y'all. These gotta be some of the most beautiful caterpillars in the world. Add some soil. This is why right now is such a crunch for me because I have so many Monarch caterpillars. A little layer of soil, enough to spread evenly across the top. And I have so many and they've devoured all of the leaves. These, these were doing excellent and just yesterday there were so many more leaves. But these caterpillars just eat and eat and eat and eat. And this year has been a mad dash to try to keep up with all of the monarch butterflies that I've seen. And all of the eggs and larvae or caterpillars. They've really taken over this whole planter bed. So I'm trying my hardest to grow more of these beautiful plants. These ones were germinated from those seeds as well. And I also acquired these from another person. Some more beautiful milkweed. But I, it's a race. I think these are actually so big now that they're almost gonna go ahead and spin a cocoon and become their next phase of life. Those beautiful monarch butterflies. Uh, next year, I promise you, when the monarchs come in, we'll be ready, be ready for them. For them. In just two days, the caterpillars had devoured the rest of the leaves and the additional milkweed leaves that I had provided for them. And they moved on and realized that it was time for them to begin their transformation. Right here, you can see a beautiful caterpillar hanging in the J-hook formation. That means it's getting ready to form a chrysalis like this right over here. 
which would be the next phase in its life cycle right there. And eventually, in a short while, they will emerge from the chrysalis like this one is already done over here. You can see the remnants of an old chrysalis right there. And they will become those beautiful monarch butterflies. Since two days has passed already, new pods are emerging and get ready to lose more seeds and continue this cycle on for hopefully ever.